Hey friends, it's Holly. Welcome back to A Hot Minute with Holly. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, subscribe, like, you know, all the all the YouTube stuff. So this week we're going to talk about that, um, that project that throws a monkey wrench in your plans. Uh, that project that comes out of nowhere and you didn't even know it existed and all of a sudden you just, you had to do it. You just had to do it. Um, when I first started creating content based on my own content as opposed to having a bundle from the brass to work off of, I got like super organized and I made lists and I like got off the calendar and I said, I'm going to work on this project and then I'm going to do this and we're going to talk about that. And boy, I was, and then this came along and erase, 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 erase we're doing this this week <laughs> so anyway um i follow a fabric store from euphreda washington called the fabric patch they're a family-owned fabric store they're um from what i can tell i think they're pretty big fabric store and um they do lives every week they do two definitely two lives a week and um and then they often do like a technique um and that's where this came from. I was watching and she was showing how to do this technique where you take a jelly roll and I had a jelly roll and um, you sew it together with other fabric in a tube and you create these like amazing squares. So, okay, yeah, that was kind of exciting. I can do that. So I, I dug through my stash and I got my jelly roll and it's Tula and it's on a print. And I was scared. I didn't want to. I didn't want to cut into it. But I did. I did it. I did it, and I'm glad. So um, my Tula jelly roll was a monkey wrench. Monkey wrench. See, he's got a, a wrench in his tail. Hence, he's. This project is throwing a monkey wrench in my plans. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> oh yeah, that's so lame. Um. So anyway. I highly suggest you watch the video. Um, it's I'll put it in the the description box below because she explains it super super well. There's not a pattern. You just need a jelly roll and two and a half yards of a coordinating fabric. Whoops, I'm making you shake. I'm sorry. Um, now that I look at the finished product again, I probably should have done it differently, but I didn't, and and I'm happy with it. Um, my finished product is um, kind of an explosion, but in a, I think in a good way. So anyway, I'm going to insert a video here of how I cut the tubes. She uses a different ruler. I have a Creative Grids ruler. I'm not, I think she might have been using a Quilter Select ruler. And it just, it had the, the same lines, but in kind of different places. So um, I'm going to put a video here of me cutting the the tubes so that you end up with these amazing squares. So, hey, I'm gonna give you a little um, demonstration of how I cut my blocks. The video that I am talking about from the fabric patch, um, their, their ruler is a little bit different than mine. Um, it just, it's got the same 45 degree angles, but they're kind of in different places. So I had to adapt a little to the Creative Grids ruler, but this is the four uh, jelly roll strips sewn together all the way down, and then you sew them to a strip of fabric that is the same length and width, and you sew them in a tube. So you sew along here, and you sew along here, and you make a tube, and, and I'm like, a tube? Why are we making a tube um well i will show you so um the first thing we'll do is we'll find the 45 degree angle line on the ruler and there's two there's one here and there's one here so for this first one we're gonna use this one and put it at the bottom along the edge not the um, not the seam, but the edge of the fabric. And this first one is a extra throwaway. Not, I mean, I won't, 
I totally won't throw it away, but it's not what we're going to use for this project. So we will just uh, get rid of that one. And then we're going to just flip the, the creative grids ruler over and I'm going to keep trying to keep you in frame. My overhead stand is like right here and it keeps getting in the way of the ruler. <laughs> These horrible new tech problems. Um, so let's see. Can you still see if I do this? Yes. So this time the 45 degree line is at the top of the fabric tube. Tube is a fun word. Tube, 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 tube. And the bottom corner is like right against the very tippy tip tip corner. And you just take your nifty leather cutter and cut up like that. So just as a quick demonstration, up here at the top, you're gonna find those little stitches from that tube that we made. And we're just gonna pull them apart. And we've got a cool block. Look at that. Look at this. If anyone's interested, this is a Tula Pink. This is Monkey Wrench. And I had been hanging on to this jelly roll, monkey wrench jelly roll for like ever. And um, I, I gotta tell you, it was it was a little scary. A little scary to cut into it, but so far so good. So then again, just like we did the last time, we're just gonna flip the ruler over, putting the 45 degree, and can you see? 45 degree angle line along the bottom and the the corner right up there in the tippy tip corner again we've got these little bitty stitches And you just keep doing that till you get to the end. Cool beans, right? It's awesome. So cool, right? Like, so cool. It just, uh, when I first saw her doing it and I was like, a tube? What? What do you? And then it turned into that block and I was like, holy cow. It's so simple. It's so simple and yet, you know, the hardest part for me was being random about how I placed my um, jelly roll strips. You know, she suggests that you just throw them all in a pile and just grab. Oh boy, I really had a hard time with that. But for the most part, I think I did an okay job. So um, yeah, I worked out, uh, it only took a couple of days before I knew it. I had I had a top uh, on my design board and, and I'm, super happy with it like i said it's 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 a lot but um but i i like it so um i'm gonna insert a little video of how it turned out here explosion of Tula. It's just because I didn't have a consistent two and a half yards of one fabric and I so I broke it up into three. It just sort of added to the chaos. But I don't know. It just makes me happy. It's just this crazy explosion of really good colors and it was so simple and I didn't like you know, I know that quilting is like a learning experience and every time you learn something new, you get excited and, and that it's a grow, you're growing into be more skills, better skills, but sometimes you just need something 
that it it was a success you know it was a success i didn't have to match up a bunch of corners or or get things to lay just right it was just like a a, a palette cleanser a, um an encourager project it just i was just happy just happy that's all <laughs> so anyway that's how the monkey threw a wrench in my plans for the week and um i highly suggest that you you let um a a jelly roll change your life so uh on to stash enrichment so we've got a little fabric enrichment this week um since we were already talking about the fabric patch this came this week from the fabric patch and it's boutique and it's holly i'm i'm pretty excited i gotta say i'm pretty excited about this i um I'm fussy about Holly. I mean, when your name is Holly, I guess maybe you'd be sort of fussy about Holly. Anyway, I love this. And this particular collection has pine cones and just all kinds of other like earthy sort of wintry batiks um, and really unusual, I think, batiks. So I will definitely be getting some more of that. The next is from Modern Quilter on Etsy. I will link it. Modern Quilter is one of my favorite Etsy shops. And this is a collection, and yes, we're still talking about the holidays, but it's never too early to plan. This is um, Tim Holtz 2021 Christmas Collection, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So we're going to go through this really quickly. So, Argyle, awesome. Houndstooth, awesome. Uh, kind of a almost watercolory looking floral pine cones pine trees a sort of retro looking green star thing holly not as cool as the batik holly but i'll give it a solid eight snowflakes a kind of interesting pattern um music this uh christmas song i came upon a midnight clear hark the herald hark the herald angels sing jingle bells super cute more snowflakes this looks like a uh, barn barn wood or just wood in general red very tim holtz i do not i'm gonna say i do not care for this color green i i really don't but it works with this bundle and it came as a bundle so i'm gonna learn to make friends i love this i love this i love this this is my favorite favorite piece um just these like squares with words december season merry peace joy this this is so cool my my favorite piece um some more of this sort of greenery another thing of words red with all the all the words all the christmas words and some berries so that's it i like it uh i got zero idea what i'm gonna do with it but i like it so that's it for today we got holly boutique from the fabric patch and tim holtz new christmas collection from modern quilter So Holly Batik, oh my gosh, I'm a, I, I love a Batik, but Holly Batik. Also, um, in the Tim Holtz, there was that Argyle. I spent a day with two of my grandchildren this week and uh, discovered that my granddaughter, who's 12, is um, all about the Argyle. And so uh, that will be her Christmas quilt. <laughs> She's loving the Argyle. And, and she isn't a, like, well, for one thing, she's 12. And in, in this day and age, 12 is more like 15. And um, she's not, she's not into cutesy. You know, she wants bold, not unlike her grandmother, who also likes cutesy. But anyway, <clears throat> I believe that is it for this week. I hope that the back to school chaos is um, 
a positive thing in your life. I remember I used to love that whole school supplies, new clothes, you know, thing. So as always, be well, be safe, and I will see you next week. Bye.